our two founders are from the Berkeley uh, Robotics Program, um, and they kind of this tech kind of came about um, in that lab. And um, they tried a couple different places first, where it was like maybe this would be good for military. Um, they're trying like you know like swarm robots, um, but it's really like this response that you get from kids with it, and they're like, well, this might be good as a toy because they're kind of showing it in kind of its most basic form. Um, and so when they when you slap the shell on it and just kind of have this really cool design, all these really cool kind of futuristic bugs, um, we really saw a great response there. And so that's really what got us into the toy realm. Uh, the, the, the name Kamigami is a play on words of origami. Um, so it, it, it comes in a sheet and you fold it all up. Um, it's made of this material that's plastic and nylon and plastic. And we cut away with a laser cutter um, the plastic on both sides. So the hinges are all the nylon part. Um, and they fold that up, these little rivets. Um, and that's all the same base chassis. Um, and then you have different shells that you can put over the top of it. So we have an app that pairs with it through Bluetooth um, and it's kind of like that's kind of the way it's going with a lot of connected toys where you got you can do a lot more processing rather than putting that on the robot you can put it you can use the phone's power and so there's a lot of cool features you can do that you wouldn't be able to do or would cause the toy to be a lot more so you just download it from the App Store um, either iOS or Android it's on both. This was kind of Dash Robotics first toy um, and they've done a couple iterations of it and this is the I think the third iteration um, and that was just selling online um, but we just recently uh, uh, sign a deal with Mattel so um, that's gonna be like they're gonna be having it wide in stores this Christmas so um, that'll be cool there's a uh, kind of a little bit of a redesign there um, but it'll be cool to see it in more stores we've been here we were here last year we got a lot of actually great user feedback here last year so we had our previous design here last year and a lot of the feedback we got um, we implemented in this current design um, we had a lot of great because this is a great opportunity just to get like kids to react to it and play with it um, there's a lot of features you go, oh, this would be a great idea. You see a kid trying to do something, and it's like, well, we haven't done that yet. So that's a good thing to try out. I think it's also you get a little bit of that kind of the builder element to it, which, you know, kids already have Legos, and they're in love with that. Um, and you take it a little bit further where it's like, okay, this isn't quite Legos. It's, you're building something a little bit different, but now you have you, we have basic programming in ours, too. So you're assembling it, but then you can do a little bit more. You're not just putting it on a shelf when you're done. You're playing with it, and you're adding more features to it. I think that's definitely the goal, um, and it's kind of make some make it more approachable. Um, I think when it's when you're starting something like that a lot later, it seems like you're just thinking, "Oh, this is all math. There's all these really hardcore scientific concepts." But when it's very like simple programming, like we we're doing, it's it's much more like a game. And I think you're not like kids probably don't see it as much as like a school subject as like, "Oh, it's just like a fun thing I like to do." And then when they're starting to being introduced to school, um, they're maybe more inclined to explore that.